Man, somebody left a horrible mess in here. Alright, I think the first priority is get this passenger seat out because that's what we need for tune-up. And if it has to go into the garage for anything, mechanics really like it when that seat's not there. So I'm just looking under this front seat and I can feel where the bolts are, how far, far apart they are. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling the base plate on these front seats is bigger than the back ones, but uh, we'll find out. Well, it's a balmy 5 plus 5 degrees Celsius today, so uh, the wind is up a little bit, That's, so that takes it down a few more degrees. However, we'll take advantage of what we can here. So, under the driver, or under the passenger seat, what you're dealing with is uh, not too bad, but I'm, I don't want to take that bracket off for those lines if I don't have to, because I'm scared that little bolt in there that holds the bracket's going to break off, but that's your, your first big uh, seat bolt there. I think these are uh, heating lines to a rear, or air conditioning lines to a rear uh, heater, um, these great big uh, lines here. And then the second bolt uh, is a little more easier access. Third bolt over here. Got some like uh, um, either a transmission or brake lines around it a little bit. And then this one over here, uh, not too much around that one. That one's a pretty clear shot. But this one here, I'm almost thinking about trying to grind the bolts off the top or the, the head off the top of the bolt from inside just so I don't have to put the... Um, you know what, in the long run, these lines will, probably will never be staying. Uh, I will take them out because I'll put a diesel heater in the back. But I don't want to make those kind of decisions right now. Um, so I may try and grind the top of that bolt off up front. So I think I'll try that, see how that goes. And then if that works pretty good, I might try it with... Uh, that one maybe. Well, we'll just see. I mean, this one over here is pretty clear. That's not not a hard one. That's in the clear. But let's let's give her a, let's give her a go. One thing about being under here that I'm really happy about, like that's blue from the frame paint. So under here is a serious lack of rust. And this is a 1990. Uh, it was just uh, sprayed with Crown undercoating. And uh, that red that you see there is actually a reflection of the uh, hunting uh, jacket that I've got on that I'm using. Um, yeah, just a serious lack of corrosion, which is really great to see. And that's what drew me to this truck in the first place. The fact that it was so clean. All right. So that first bolt, I think, is right there. When you put the seat all the way back, it's uh, pretty much right in line with the front corner. So I get my knife and cut that up. I've got the uh, head of the bolt here. I think I might just take a shot of grinding that. I'll put on my ear protection and my eye protection and give her a go. And I gave it a couple smacks and away she went through. So we got a Great big hole now. So in finding the second bolt, it is right there. So it's not out here at the end of the seat, it's in a little ways and you can feel the bump in the carpet. Uh, this one was a little farther uh, out on the seat 
um, closer to the edge of the seat. This one here is in a little further, um, but you can feel it. Just feel around there and you'll feel the top of that head. So now I gotta cut that carpet. All right, got the carpet cut away from the top of that bolt. All right, so I went under and looked at that one again, and because of its proximity to those other wires, it's really hard to get a grinder in there and take the end of the stud off, and it's even uh, more dangerous as to how I typically jam the vice grips under there to uh, be able to turn the nut on top. So I've decided to use the same approach on this one and grind the head off and poke it through. Um, I'm going to use a different method on the other two though, I believe. So, here we go. Uh, this grinder, it's a Pro Pulse. Um, I got it with disc installed for $15 in the clearance section of uh, a home hardware or Rona or something. Um, and it has more than paid for itself. 15 bucks. really hard to get your hammer in there. It's a weird angle because of the bracket. And away she goes. So now for the back two bolts, I got the two front ones out. I'm going to slide the seat ahead and bring all my tools of destruction back here. I'm also going to uh, pull the lever on the side of the seat and push this thing ahead as far as it'll go. It's in under here, under that bar. So it's going to be a real joy. It's a 5 8 socket. So I just took the grinder and cut that stud right off, right below the nut. And now I gotta get a pair of vice grips onto that nut so that when I turn the ratchet from the top it will the the um, vice grip will turn and it'll jam against uh, one of the side rails here the frame or the body or whatever and I'll be able to it'll stay because the the nut is shallow and uh, gotta get that uh, vice grips up there Oh, there we go. That's what we want to hear. Happy, happy. The sound of vice grips falling. Right on. All right, last bolt on this seat. All right, got the carpet cut away. Again, it's a 5 8 bolt. We'll go underneath, see what's going on. All right, I got the uh, grinder up in there and uh, cut the uh, stud off just below the nut. And now I gotta try and get some vice grips on there. Got the vice grips on. Yay! The sound of falling vice grips makes me so happy. And there we go, the last stud. So, that should mean that this seat is completely free with the exception of the uh... Oh, hmm. I did overlook something other than the carpet which I'm going to uh, cut on an angle in this back corner to get the seat out but the seat belt is attached to the van, so... Up here, under this plastic, is going to be a bolt. I have to pry this back and get to the bolt that's under there. Alright, I just took a flathead screwdriver and jammed it under there. 
and it's um one of those things the torques I think I think they still call them torques at that size let's see if the old Mastercraft set has one of them in there okay I got that out but that sucker was in there that was hard to get out I could not do it with just a ratchet um, I had to use a, a bar from a hydraulic jack as an extension on this because I don't have a power arm in this size um, and that's how I got it off Woohoo! Getting roomy in here now. <laughs> 